This is a brand new curly maple chest of drawers. It's a nice piece of furniture and it was stained and finished like in a light orangey colonial maple type thing. It didn't, did not look great. We have stripped it and now we're going to sand it and I'm going to finish it uh, a browner color, darker brown color. Uh, try to make it look older and try to use stains that emphasize the curly maple. So it's all stripped now and now we'll start sanding it and I'll start experimenting with different stains. Okay, I've sanded this up to 220. I've sanded it really well with 220. And now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, stain it with a dye stain. Okay, this first stain is a dye stain. It's a acetone based. It's a medium brown walnut stain. I've mixed it 50-50 with acetone and added some retarder to it. The toughest thing about dye stain is getting it even, so after I wipe it off, I put a little acetone on my rag and, and wipe it off again to help even it out. And it seems to be drying nice and even. I've let the dye stain dry now for a few hours. I'm going to apply a pigmented uh, oil stain now, which is roughly two parts mahogany, one part dark walnut and one part golden oak. I'm going to see if I can uh, get close to my sample that I've been given. So now I've let the stain dry overnight and I will apply a coat of tongue oil. Now I've kept this wet for about 15 minutes and now I'm going to pat off the excess tongue oil. And by that I mean I'm going to sort of form this rag into a pad. Okay, now for the third coat, I'm going to brush it on as before. I'm going to pat it some, and then I want to use some steel wool to try to get a really smooth, uh, really even final coat. This is four off steel wool, the finest steel wool. I've still got a fair amount of uh, tongue oil on this top and I'm going to keep patting with this steel wool and then as it dries I'm going to try to pat it out evenly. It's starting to dry now. So the oil is starting to dry but my steel wool pad is kind of uh, charged enough with oil that it's sliding very easily across this top. Okay, so now I can see that the, the top is less and less streaky. I think I've left some on. This should be my final coat. Uh, and the next step will be to wax it.
Okay, now the final step is to wax this up and install the hardware. Okay, looks pretty good.